Hello, hello. Welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 131. And uh, we're playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And thank you, Arcadius, for that lovely, lovely raid. We are in the middle of the events falling out from our meeting with the Council. We went to meet the three remaining Jedi Masters that we had found through our travels. They told us that they cut us off from the Force. Um... Intentionally. Well, they didn't cut us off from the Force. We were deafened to the Force because of what happened on Malachor V. It was implied that basically somebody, most likely us, used the gravity of Malachor V to obliterate everything. Um, and that I have now become an open sore in the Force, just sucking in the life and Force power uh, of every... Yeah, uh... And being that kind of evil. So, uh, in the middle of our discussion, we were about to be cut off from the Force for the good of all things. And, and Korea came in, assassinated the three Jedi Masters, sucking the life and everything out of them. And, and starting a chain of events that has led to the Handmaiden facing down her sisters. But uh, since she is playing a light Jedi, Guardian... Uh, let's start with, I will not fight you. Then you shall fall. We okay. shall see what the exile has taught. If she kills her sisters, then the dark side will uh. have its claim on her. Yet if she does not, then she will die. Such is sacrifice. The true test of battle is how much force to bring against opponents. If you wish to kill them, do not hold back. But if you wish to stun them, incapacitate them, then you must hmm. choose your attacks carefully, using just the right amount of force. Just the right weapon to stop them. <laughs> so you pull out a lightsaber. Just enough to stop them. Okay, to stop your sisters, you must either kill all of them or end combat with all of them stunned or paralyzed. If you can reduce enough them to enough hit points without killing them, they shall be automatically stunned. Okay, so I'm trying to be light side. I need to stun or paralyze them all. And that means being very careful. Let's start with that. Hello. Thank you again for the raid. Oh. Come on. Alright. Uh, let's get an attack in there. I need... Yeah, this is bad. Especially since I need to... I need to... Incapacitate... All of them without killing them. There we go. Oh, whew. That went better than I expected. Where have you been? You have been absent so long. I feared for your safety. Yeah, why am I not Are believing you with that? The exile all this time, Mistress. As you commanded, I commanded. Did I command you to consort with him, to follow his teachings, to betray oh, your I mean. oath? Mistress, the exile taught me many things. <laughs> I am certain he did. And now, perhaps, it is time to show me what you have learned, Mistress. I do not understand. I, of course you do not, but you will learn, but you have had a long journey, and I am anxious to see what you have learned uh -oh. of war and battle. Oh. Um. Interesting. I thought it was going to be me, the main character, that ended up doing all this. Okay. So, let's go ahead and... Let's, uh... Instead of that, though, I really want the energy resistance. Because that's going to help with the blade. I will try that. Yeah. I should probably queue up a heal. Are you cheating? Don't don't 
kill her. I didn't intend for you to kill her. Enough. Oh, good. Did you have feelings for him? Did you touch him? Did you look upon him with love? Um. There is no love in that one. He is a shell, devoid oh. of emotion. All that he was died at Malakor, and that, he dies there. That sounds kind of personal. Is there something you need to tell the group? Oh, hey. Speaking of, one exile has <laughs> arrived to save another. <laughs> You've truly fallen far to kill a helpless opponent. Um. Okay, do not harm her. If you wish to punish anyone, then punish me. Or... Yeah, it's going to be either one or two. Let's... Let's try the first one. Do you care so much for her that you have come all this way? Perhaps you have feelings after all. I, I have feelings. If you cut me, do I not bleed? Alright, um... <laughs> fight or die, I don't care. Where's Korea? Surrender, I don't want to fight you. Such a noble offer. Your execution has been too long delayed, exile. Yikes. Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. He's not, she's not dead, is she? All right. Let's, um... Oh. I gotta queue up an attack or something first. I want to do the Force Enlightenment. Because that's going to queue up speed, valor, and a couple other things. I'll try the wave, and then we'll get a uh, flurry in. Oh, so she falls to that one. Oh. Oh my. What? That is the most awkward run I have ever seen. Can, can I not... Can I not check on Atris? Or, uh, not Atris. Um, hey. Uh. Alright. I, I don't know if that did anything. Let's, uh. <laughs> into the chamber, I guess. Will we get a chance to try this dance again? You said you would come here to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they are mine to All those Sith holocrons? And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Uh... Words of a coward and a Jedi, prepare to die. No. You must fear death to beg for your life so? No. I will not fight you. Surrender and I will spare you. Okay, you fall into the dark side. Surely you see that. You must be stopped. Now let, let's try to convince. Because again, Atris. that is not who I am. Not any longer. Oh. She has not existed for some time. I think there was always something else within me. It just took time for its voice to be heard. Uh oh. Or is Korea? some sort of extension like are, are we getting into levels upon levels upon levels where we're going to find out that like Darth Nihilus is the mirror of me or the force projection of me a and Atris and Kriya are somehow tied together um what happened to you the old woman you traveled with finally made me listen to myself to the galaxy um, she said that you would come here and that you would face me in battle What is this place? All the knowledge of the Sith gathered okay. from across the galaxy. So I was right about that part. here by my servants, so that I might uncover their secrets and use them to track them down. But now they have been drawn from the shadows of the outer rim, and the only final matter to attend to is finishing you. But I'm not Sith. Do do you know where the Sith are striking from? I do not know yet, but it does not matter. They have come here to face the Republic in battle, and they will be destroyed. Um, you've placed everyone on Citadel Station in jeopardy. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. It has all been wait, part wait, of my wait, wait. for you. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith and wipe them out. I'm confused. Forever. What plans are you talking These about? These Sith are cowards, striking from the shadows to kill Jedi. I needed a target to draw them out. 
but I could not risk my own life, all that remained of the Jedi. So I arranged for you to return to the Republic, leaked information of your past, and then waited for the Sith to come. And they did. But you came to Telos against my predictions. Okay. Now they are here, I can finally face this enemy and defeat them. I will not fight you. Surrender to you. Never. Let us end this. Seriously? Did did you not see how quickly this ended the last time? Alright. Let's get the force enlightenment going. Force immunity. We'll hit a wave and then a flurry. Kill me. End this. After everything you've done, I'm not letting you off that easy. Very well prepared to die. Uh, you know, those are tempting, but no, no, no. I, I will not kill a helpless opponent. I did not expect mercy from you here at the end, after all that has happened between us. Um, We have greater problems, and there's been enough killing. I need answers. <laughs> Actually, I was lying. Prepare to die. Oh, no. We have greater problems. If you will not kill me, then what will you do? What happened to you? This knowledge of the Sith and the Jedi is what I am. It is my attempt to hold on to the past, to try and protect the future. Um... And that's why you gain these Sith relics? I think perhaps we've both been guilty of such things. Or it's not your responsibility. Well, let, let, let's try the more humble. Uh, I think we've been both guilty. Once I was a historian, the chronicler of the Jedi. And when both wars passed me by, I was determined that I would not forsake battle again. In some part of me, I knew I had made choices compromises, but always for the sake of the Republic, of the galaxy. To do what you had done, at times, did not seem so wrong. Um, <laughs> it never does until you realize you've lost everything else, everything that occurred on Malachor, everything. Um, it never does until you realize you've lost your connection with everything else. You're right. The Jedi were all that seemed left to me. And yet I had become so far removed from them that I betrayed them. Tell me where Kriya is. Where she walks is hidden from my eyes, but not from those of her kind. Hmm. It is possible I may draw one last piece of knowledge from these holocrons. Why do the Sith sound vaguely... No, no. Why do I feel like I'm in an H.P. Lovecraft novel? You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. Spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those dead. All those Jedi. Their power is to feed on life. Until nothing is left except a hollow galaxy. Echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost All right, then I guess we're headed to Malachor V. Is that where Kriya has gone? Yes. I had thought she was awaiting me at that place, but I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me, but for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Malachor 5. Okay. To finish what you started. What I started? Yes. You are an echo in the Force. A hollow space where it has been oh. wounded. It takes a great act of destruction to create such emptiness. So I'm but the echo. It I'm not an actual person, am I? Force is difficult to hear, and difficult to find one's way, and you carry it with you, always. Where am I? Uh, so what does this have to do with Korea? Now she seeks to create another echo, a wound in the Force, greater than the one before, greater than the one you caused. It will deafen all touched by the Force until no life is left. You oh. were strong enough to withstand it once. Oh. But few have your strength in such matters, especially if they are unprepared. Why would Korea do that? I do not know. But no. she needs you. Okay. Now. 
If you Those answers to, to appear in a later discussion. She'll murder herself at the heart of Malachor, and you will die along with her. Um. Why? Why would she do such a thing? She seeks the death of all Jedi, all Sith, oh. and the death of the Force. Okay. It is madness. It is impossible. But she believes you are the key. Death of the f Force? There are places in the galaxy dead to the Force where nothing lives, where the echoes travel forever and do not reach their destination. Okay. And these places may be created, even from the simplest of events, the slightest of motions. One person at the right place. Yeah, that seems to be one right of the overarching themes of, the, of, uh, the of the Knights galaxy, of the Old Republic, too. End it. But why would I matter? You're important to her somehow, but I... But I do not know for certain. If you know, tell me. She is willing to sacrifice herself at the heart of that graveyard world for you. A choice others have made in the past. A choice wait, I wait, 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 wait. Why is I that for me? And I suspect that you alone hold that place in her heart where nothing else lives. And that is why you are the only one who can stop the destruction to come. I'm still confused. She seeks the death of all Jedi, all Sith, and the death okay. of the... How could I not tell? Because the Force had been stripped from her, as it had been torn from you. At times, I wonder what we would be if the Force was taken from us. If we would truly be Jedi or Sith, or simply human. Alright, uh, I guess that's about it, because we seem to have exhausted all our conversation options. And what will you do with me now? Abandon me here on this dead world, <laughs> woof, or woof. end my life as I wish to end yours? Alright. Hmm. Nothing except end your life? No. I shall leave you here to these holocrons. They are Sith, and they do not abide failure. No. You must return to your prison and leave the battles to those who have the strength to fight them. No. You'll answer for your crimes before the council, and then you shall return to your prison. No. I need you to see what you have become and turn away from it. I will do nothing except tell you that I am sorry. Um, let's go with the second one. That seems like the most likely to actually turn her back to the light side. I tied my life, my decisions to the Jedi. Perhaps only in separating myself from the Jedi can I become myself again. Learn who oh, I am. That's a nice little bit Perhaps of double talk. Exile is what I deserve, even though it is many years too late and you have already returned. All right, how do I shut up the chorus over there? Can I destroy them? Can I like you know and destroy them? Leave now, while you can. Save Telos. Save the galaxy. Save yourself. Nine. Uh oh. What's she getting ready to do? This is not. No, I could not bring myself to tell him. It would have changed nothing. No. And because I was afraid. Yeah, I feel like I walked into a Lovecraft something or other. lies at the heart of Manacor 5. I had thought it was in the past, yet it has become the future. And all that has happened there will happen again. So say we all. That is why I oh. cannot bear it. Because it is Malachor 5. And because I love him. I do not understand why the hmm. Sith permit such teachings to exist. They cause only echoes, wounds in the Force. I mean, a beacon. Wait. For who? Uh oh. You came for me. I thought I had lost you. Well, it was a little late, but better late than never. I decided to play it a little close. For a minute there, I thought I had lost you. I'm sorry, I came as quickly as I could. She said the council had ended you, and all along she was one of those who had sought to kill us. Yes. 
Both carry their truth in a way. Cree has told many lies, and the architecture is difficult to see. Ain't that the truth? Um, yes, but we need to deal with one crisis at a time. Before I punish you, tell me why you disobeyed me. No. Um. Uh, hmm. Let's go with the second one. When I heard her say that you were dead, I, I failed you. I let my emotion run through me, and I acted without thinking. I wanted to punish her, hurt her. See her answer for what she had done to the Jedi for leading you to the council. Um, your anger and strength, it's a weapon. Uh, that sounds like some dark side points there. Be silent, uh, some dark side points. This part is over, we must focus on the next battle. Well, it's lucky for her I don't die so easily. No. Alright, don't dwell on it, we'll take action as proper time. Calm yourself. Now let's go with calm yourself. Although, for the record, I have never seen a situation outside of a game or a movie where the words calm yourself have ever caused anybody to calm themselves. Of course. Uh, forgive my display. I. I am the last of the handmaidens no longer. I am Brianna, disciple of the last of the Jedi, and the one who will stand with you against all enemies who face us. Uh, then let's get to it. We've got a plan. It's good to hear your name. Then follow me. It's time we ended this. It's good to hear your name. It is good to hear it. After so long. Man, they really don't... Oh, oh dog it. There we go. Keep going, video. They really don't give you a pause or a break or anything when you start this uh, quest line. I wonder if this triggers the uh, the final uh, side quest for HK and the Droid Factory. Or not? Dun 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 dun. Ah, okay, good. We are at the final bit for uh, HK, so. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. I'm about where I'd want to be for a break, so I'm going to insert break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.